Uh, I think Mirage is... I don't know, it's kind of weird, because it looked like for a while it was trending toward that 8.7. As well, it was extremely -sided. CT sided for a while, and then, extremely, then it got... Yeah. Uh, this is the point I was going to make. It was extremely CT sided for a while, but as teams learned to control mid on the T side, it came back the other way. We got to that 8 7, and now teams are learning to counter that again. It's an evolution thing, and I think 9 6 is actually where it sits, or should sit statistically. Of course, at the top level, it's hard to get those stats to be consistent because you have so many teams that are different, obviously. Certain teams are T sided, and others are very CT sided, so. Yeah, I mean, it's all going to be about how does. I mean, Mustafa wins the pistol, which is great, so they're going to be able to play their CT side first, but. How are they going to respond here? Because they just got, uh, I mean, absolutely murdered. If they didn't, if they didn't go out and you know collect their thoughts and come together as a team and just brush it off, if they still have that huge loss on their mind, uh, we're going to be able to tell pretty early on. I mean, even on Cobble, there were routes they got themselves into situations where they should have won. You know, there were there were, I mean, not many of them, mind you, but even even rounds where there was overwhelmingly in their favor, there were probably like two or three of them throughout that half, and they still. Uh, found a way to lose them, and that's harsh. So this round, they're actually going to go for a gamble. They're going to stack three over towards the B bomb site. Demise playing very passively at phone booth, and this is going to be an A hit from Affinity, but Mousepaz actually gets aggressive on Catwalk, and they just push straight out, Polly pushing up, so it's going to be some quick rotates over to that A site when the execution comes in. Or should be in potential if Fruit can come over quick enough. As right now, they still have all that need, though. Massive damage. Fox Abe actually takes him down. Team killed by accident as he falls back in. But that nade did over 100 damage to three different players. That was massive. And Fruit, he'll collect on all of those as Zek is also going to pick up one demise. Can he find Davey? Not yet. So they have the two man advantage, but now Jason brings it back. They still haven't won their first round yet. And Jason's going to make it even harder. He's in a one on two. He has this tech nine, manages to pull away. Bomb's still ticking, but Fruit's going to get him. And they've got time to get this defuse. And congratulations, Mouse Spaz. You've got your first round of the evening. First one's the hardest. They're on the board. The first cut is the deepest. I mean, that looks scary. Well, they had that B stack. That looks scary for some time. If that had been a quicker strategy, they might have been overrun. But, I mean, that nade did so much so much damage, like you said. It weakened up the offense. So just the two Mouse Spaz players who were there initially for that hit were able to just mop up some easy kills. But... Affinity does get the bomb plant, so they're not going to invest armor into this round. They're going to get a tech nine. They have a couple smokes. They might. They're going to try and go for a second bomb plant, but this is going to be a third round AK-47 by with or without it. Let's see if this MP7 can do anything in the hands of Fruit. He's got rifles to complement it. Let's Here's the thing. Us. On an eco round, this should be that line of smoke across the bomb boxes so they can plant in the smoke. It's not going to be a typical execute, and there it is. And Demise has to play aggressively in front of the smokes. It does leave a slight gap, though, in the back box, but they still get in position to plant it. The problem is that it also lets Fruit push up and see them when they come in, so he can get a good shot on them. But Jason actually gets smart. He goes to the second spot. He goes into the second smoke. So he will get that bomb plant down. It is successful, and good call by you, because that was exactly the plan. That makes it one nothing now, 2 nothing. Mouse Spaz, with all five players up. That's the crucial thing. They couldn't take any of the guns down, but they will be able to get money down, at least for that plant. Yeah, they, they just wanted to get that line of smoke down to, to block off anyone playing passively to get in the smoke, so uh, they did it, they did it, executed it perfectly. Abe still sitting at negative one from that TK in the pistol round, <clears throat> but we do have AKs in the hands of Affinity players. And it up as well for Arya. So, really aggressive playing with the bombs gets them in position to make that happen. Abe, look at this, waiting atop the stairwell. Fruit lurks through the underpass. Somehow Abe doesn't land the shot. He actually only takes a mere 21 damage, but he couldn't put it back in potential. So now they're going to try and push in. His Imps is going to get caught. Abe gets him. Trying to compensate for that misplay, that missed opportunity at underpass. And instead, he just walks in solo. And now they've opened up potential into B. Fruit's going to come back around in the other pass late. He's only got a very limited number of health points left on 15. Well, Zach, look at Fruit, too. No he's, tra he's trapped in the underpass now. He doesn't know if he can get out anywhere. They do have players at the top of mid still watching for it. Arya with the AWP. Well, the B bomb site is completely open. Arya gets eliminated off the map. There is a lurker over towards A. That's got to be Davey. The lurker for, uh, for Affinity, and it is. But the bomb goes down, and this is going to be a heavy catwalk retake. 
Fox finds fruit. So there was the player you were talking about that couldn't find his way out, and when he did, he found his way out of the fire and into the frying pan. His mouse pads look like they want to save already. This op up right now for Demise. A little bit too valuable, so Zek going to do the same thing. He's low HP, but look at Davey. He's still over it, and he hears them. He knows exactly where they're going. So if Jason wanted to, he could be quick on this, and they could potentially get all over them. Take these guns out of mouse pads, turns it, turn it back around early, but Demise, he finds Davey. No, not at all. But a good first win, and Demise is going to keep that AWP. Fake decoy. Oh, Demise actually misses it. That gave Fox an opportunity, so... We'll see if the rest of the three Mouse Pass members decide to buy up behind this. It looks like one gun has been dropped. But a nice round from Affinity there. I mean, that, it comes down to that battle for mid control. And once Fruit didn't get that initial kill, he, he fell back, but he couldn't get anywhere. And his teammates were peeking out Catwalk, peeking out Connector, peeking out Window to try and support him to give him some cover to fall back, but he couldn't make it. They just eliminated all the support. And now look, Polly pushing right up middle, sees absolutely nothing. He's going to begin a big flank. This is what Polly likes to do. He's going to go for these gamble battles early so he can try and get the quick flank if it works out in his, in his favor. Here comes the. Execution grenades over the top, smoke all the way back on the CT stairs. Arya and Davy, they all come in. In fact, Abe's gonna hold hands with them. They'll skip around in a three pack here, but they're gonna get on Tetris, not get much further until they get those kills. Jason gets one, Abe gets the other. Zek, he's holding on the stairwell, but that smoke is still in place, and this allows them to get extremely deep inside the site as Davy post plant. Look how forward he pushes. He'll find Zek. Actually, Jason R got that kill, excuse me, but either way, and Pasta, all that's left, Davy gets him, and now it's 2 2 affinity already. <laughs> You did it again. Shh, I didn't. You're lying. I, that, that, was a, that was a pretty nice execute for Affinity. Actually, I thought that Mousepaz had it in a pretty good situation, but they just had, they got a little bit over aggressive in the middle of that hit, trying to clear a player out of the caution boxes, and they just get eliminated from the players who are already up on Tetris on the mountains, on the mountain boxes. So, they held off very, very well initially. It's just kind of as that went on, they got a little bit antsy, tried to make too much of a play. He got traded off, and there's Abe, just with confidence, coming up that A ramp, get a clean headshot. He gets dinked in return, but it's a 5-on-3 for, for Affinity in this anti-eco. Look how far Imps just pushed up. And it's Ooh. Tyrion Lannister, the Imp, he takes down Abe. Can fire more than a crossbow with that CZ-75. Spoiler! I didn't spoil anything. As Davey takes down Imps, I gotta go marathon. That's what I'm gonna do after this. I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones all night. Attaboy. That's a good decision. Zach's on a big flank. He's not going to be able to find anything, though. He does have Davey coming back towards him. Davey's actually throwing away the AK behind the fence just so there's no opportunity of Zach picking it up. Smart play from Davey. Jason will monkey himself back over onto the balcony. And Zach, who gets found by Davey, has very little HP as he tries to switch to the pistol to take the duel. Davey does the same. He honors him, but. He'll disgrace him by putting him down, and his family name gets extinguished from the round. Mouse spaz go no further. It's the end of the line. The blood is ended. <laughs> You're getting yourself all hyped up for Game of Thrones. Oh, buddy. So now we're going to see if Mouse Pass comes back towards this mid-control. I mean, that was a good push by Polly. Uh, go looking for that flank. Doesn't Didn't work out on that gun round, but... I mean, that's the, that's kind of the plays that Polly likes to make. This round, Nospez doesn't put anyone in mid, but they do get the first kill. Demise takes out Davey, coming up that A ramp once again very quickly. But Arya equalizes. And now Arya's kind of, he's he's cleared one player out, and he's got himself this perch in halls. He's going to get smoked off right now, but this is a lot of focus that almost lands it through the smoke. Very, very close, actually, from Arya, but... Look at all the attention that gathered. Three players over towards the A-bomb site. It's just Imsta playing behind the smoke in the B-tunnels very, very aggressively. And now finally has a teammate rotate over to him, but this leaves a weak A defense. They know Zek has dropped out into the closet. Arya runs out of the smoke. But Zek gets taken off a good entry onto the A-bomb site. Now Demise is forced to hide behind the phone booth. Open inside the site. Lots of space to work with, but lots of smokes to hold the counter-terrorist out. So they'll have to play for the retake once they get in position with this bomb. And Jason, he's going to post it on the T side of the default box, so that's easily to play post plant from a ramp. A little bit harder from Palace, you've got to take an extra step, but Pauly's gonna find Abe. This brings it back to a three on two, his affinity still looking okay until Impster comes over, he finds Arya. Jason, meanwhile though, he counters him off. Pauly on low HP, has to try and go 
One on two, and I think he's made the decision. Then that's probably ill-advised. He'll run away, and mouse pass pick up two early, but it's been four straight now from Affinity. Yeah, looking scary. Mouse pass once again just getting a little bit beat up. Uh, not not winning much early on. I mean, that they get they get an advantage and they give it right back to Arya. And then the defense just gets spread out. So Affinity taking that main advantage and just slowing things out and pretty much just letting Mouse Pass rotate away and beat themselves. So when they come in for that A hit a little bit later, it's it's a very, very weak defense. And this is going to force a save out of Mouse Pass. Zach upgrading the pistol, same with Imsta, but only Polly with any kind of a rifle to do something in this round. And this is a round where he'll probably try and make a play. It looks like he's going to go towards mid, try and drop down. Maybe? Nope. He chooses not to. But Demise does. Oh, this is a heavy mid push. Four members, four pistols coming up. He, he's got to be the one that's careful. He's already in the doorway. And they're knocking on this door, but Abe's going to use the AK to his advantage. It won't be enough to take down three pistols as the two other players do converge onto him. But Arya and Fox make up for it a little bit. Only a little bit as Zex manages to get Arya. But now it's all left to Imsta as Davey responds into him. And they've got a sight. Bomb's going to come over late. They'll get this plant. Smart play to go up middle. Try and change things up with the pistols. But ultimately, they won't get much more than just a few guns dropped. It's 11k, by the way, right now for Fox. Yeah, he's rich. He's loaded. There's there's a big economy behind this affinity. Uh, this four I'm rounds rich, from affinity. bitch. Sorry. Whoa. Ho, ho. Jason, though, he comes back around the corner. Imsta. He's trapped with nowhere to go. This pistol can't even get the one headshot when he slides back out, so Jason takes him down. I can stay silent longer than you. Yeah, I bet you can. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think of, of what... Okay, so Zek has the AWP on the CT side. They absolutely need him to get an opening pick uh, if they want to turn this around. I mean, he didn't come alive. I mean, none of them really came alive in Kabul, but he's got to come alive here in Mirage, and he's not going to find anything in mid. It's just going to be an A execute for Affinity. This is pretty much all they're doing, uh, and it's been working for him in, in this four-round win streak. They haven't really gone away from just the set executions on this A site, but Mousepass can't stop it, so they have no reason to go away from it. Fruit's looking underpass, just sliding in and out. Check that spot, make sure no one's going to lurk, but Affinity doesn't have anyone in that position at this point. Because as we can see, they're stacked up inside the apartment. Davey, Abe, they're both looking towards the main ramp. They want to go for this execution. Zek gambling a little bit with that crack peek. Arya could have picked him off, but he actually baits Arya into a wide swing where Fruit's able to take him out with a nice angle. Nicely executed there by Mouse Spaz, but they've still got this, the execute to deal with. Smoke. Jason through it. Doesn't care. Drops out of the palace, but the prince... We'll go down in the courtyard as Demise waits for him at the firebox. Abe fires away with the spray. He does control it enough to get him back. So this brings us back to a slight disadvantage now for Affinity. Could have been a lot worse, and now it's evened up. But Zex, he'll trade it right back. Nice shot with the op as he waits patiently for Abe to come over the top. And he waits even more in the angle, but he can't land the shot on Fox. Tries to do it on the second try. And does it more successfully as Davey now gets into a one-on-two. That's not going to be enough as Imps to comes around from behind. And with the backstab... It'll be three rounds now for Mouse Pass. Yeah, but a huge economy here for Affinity. Three players over $10,000 are going to be able to drop here. And this is a crucial round. Uh, Mouse Pass has got to be able to, you know, establish some economy. They have to make a run here. If they get beat in this round and the, the economy gets reset, that's just going to turn into a... I mean, that could turn into a snowball for the rest of this half, so they have to stabilize and get something going. They want to look for this A execution again. The difference this time is that Davey has the bomb on B. Jason, he's accompanying him. But we'll see if Affinity can make this work, because essentially they're executing to pull the rotations. It has pulled Zex over as Polly is sliding up catwalk. The difference is that Imps is inside the apartments this time. And with Arya going down and no one else pushing through, Mouse Spaz are going to be completely aware that this is a fake. And now they look to rotate back. Fox is going to hold him in play, though, so this can still work, but they need to get this shot on Imsta. They need to take him out of the play immediately. He falls back knowing that they're coming onto him. He's read this. His teammates have made the call that it's likely going to be on B. And unfortunately, Jason R slipped out the window. 
So he could do nothing to slow them, and now the bomb will get in position. They'll go for this retake. Pauly has managed to sleep deep inside the site, but Abe's aware of it. He catches him off, and that smoke might have covered him over, but it won't cover him off, and that means Fox now finds fruit and leaves us with only two house pass players remaining, one of which is X, the other is which demise, and they've both demised. It's going to be 6-3 to three now. Affinity, they make that play work. It actually looked really good. They made well, that fake fully committed. Yeah, you, you nailed it. You spotted it. Was was Fox swinging out mid? The rotations were coming over, and there was no mid control from Affinity. Just Fox, you know, he makes a presence. He takes some shots at Pauly, and that kind of freezes. It eliminates an avenue of rotation for the defense, so they can't get over to that B bomb site quick enough. And from there, the attack on that B site from Affinity just speeds up, and they're able to overrun that one defender. Now the money's reset. This is the nightmare situation for Mousepaz. And things aren't often what they seem. We'll see if they can make this nightmare into a dream. But Jason R, he'll take Zek. And Arya gets back into Demise. Fox has found his way up connector, and he actually makes good on the wall bang. Finds Fruit's head, and now it's going to be Abe to take Impsta. So, Polly, he's your man in the one on five. Place your bets. Doesn't even matter, Abe. Plays it like Spider-Man. He flies out the window as well. This is kind of scary because they, they might, might they might have to double save here. They have three players who are who hovering right around three thousand dollars. This would be a very dangerous force by for him, and this is why it's kind of a nightmare. They are going to save here, so that was a that could have been a very risky call. If they force by there and, and don't win it, then their money is just done for the rest of the half. But they're going to stabilize. They're going to let Affinity have a good shot at getting up to eight. And try and put some things together from there. Zek is in the window room, but it's going to be a heavy mid play from Affinity. Four members streaming out as we speak. All right, yeah, throws out fire just to make sure he can't be counter pushed, but he needs to be aware of the fact that Fruit can still go through Palace. He doesn't look like he's going to push that position, though, as Abe finds Zek's. Zek, excuse me. Now it's Pauly that's going to be the next one under pressure as he gets trapped in the backside of the site. And Davey catches him on the right when he tries to slide away from the initial peak. But Imps is still waiting. They haven't spotted him. Bomb does go down and be now they will. He goes out, tries to take down Jason, only gets him on a 51 HP. Still managing to survive, but it's all for naught. It's a matter of time, and time has expired. And this is this is the big round. Now they're going to have an AWP back in Zek's hands. Zek. Zex hands. Thought I made the same See? mistake as you did for a moment. Oh, you did. I was talking possessive though, so it's okay. No, it was no, you made, uh, shut up. Shh, you made the mistake. So Zek, I mean, he he has. To, this is a player who, in in their matches, like one of the good things for Mousepaz is Zek with his AWP has had some great rounds. He's had some very impactful. And there he goes. He gets started on Jason R. Picks him off. The op gets passed along over to Arya. But Arya has the bomb. He's just got to fall away. He's going to go into the B tunnels while there's three members over towards the A bomb site, ready to throw an execute, ready to try and pull some rotations and get some kills. Everybody wants to get kills. It's so much more fun when you let a body hit the floor. We'll see if Demise can do that because they've got on the Tetris. He's in position to potentially get shots back, but he can't. Davey finds him. Fox finds Zek. Fruit, though, does manage to at least pull one back from Mousepaz on the defensive Flight side. That Bali. brings us back, but you're dead right. Pauly's in perfect position. Took him a while to take down Abe, but he does so. Fortunately, there's no one to turn around and go for the trade, so he has time to get that reload in. As the bomb does get planted, but they're in awesome positions to retake this. One coming in from all three major angles right now. Davey's stuck inside the sandwich. He does take the exchange from Pauly, and where's the... It's at B. It's all the way over at B. Arya fooled them all. And Fruit's going to drop as a result as he comes out of the site. So Davey getting that kill does limit this retake. And now it's all on Imsta. Perfect player right there from Affinity. And there's nothing at all that Imsta can do as he comes into the site. He does try and bait out this play, but there it is. The shot from Arya on Catwalk ends it. Really well done from Affinity, and now they triple up on their opponents 9-3. to three. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. They, Davey survived far too long at a, in a three-on-one situation, even even getting Polly. Uh, the fact that they didn't realize that he was still there was just a huge miscommunication, but that's a situation with three players surrounding him. Kill him. Get aggressive. You have three players there. I mean, either trade it. It's a three-on-two, or like you need to go for that kill. But him being allowed to live for so long... It hinders all the rotations and now fruits forced into a desperate play running down a ramp all alone he gets taken out demise drops to fox as well and fox even with some nice uh, nice showing there some nice form takes down zek and aria just cutting off the rotations in mid this is all affinity at the moment your phone rang bud just thought i'd let you know 
As Abe puts the bomb down, Imster now finds himself again at another one on five. He has a CZ-75. And I think he might actually find this as a valued possession. And just try and look for exits with it. That's his best attempt at success here. If there's any success to be had, he does find Jason R. He's not in a position where he can really push forward for the gun, though. So he'll just sit tight inside the ladder room. Put himself in a position not to peek. He finds Fox. So he's making some interesting plays. But Abe's waiting below the window on the second kill. He thought he might have bought himself space to get the gun, but it doesn't work out. Yeah, just another monster monster half out of Affinity, 10-3. to three. Double op setup coming out for Mouse Pass here. Ibsa picks one up, Zek as well. So they're going to try and get themselves an early advantage to get some of these last two rounds. I mean, the real, I mean this, is, this is an unbelievable set of gun rounds out of Affinity. Uh, winning, winning 10 of 11 gun rounds, really, since the third round. It's, it's unreal. And there's that early advantage from Zek. He takes out Arya, so it's going to be a 5 on 4. And Imsa's looking to give himself one more. He does. He finds it. He pushes the B-Tunnels and finds the angle on Fox. And now Pauly's going to chime in as well. So a two-on-four situation. Mousepad's looking good here in this round, but it might be too late. So Mousepad's finally chiming back with one. But not if Zek goes down. Davey gets him. Now A opens up a little bit, but again, that bomb's so far away over on the B apartments. Davey, though, man, he's just creeping in here with two more kills. Demise needs to take down Abe, otherwise bomb is recoverable with a good amount of time, unfortunately. For Abe, that is exactly what happens. The imps is going low, though. This nade, good thing you ran when he did, because that, okay, he tried to bounce it close, but that could have done it all. Imps just still has this op to work with. And he needs to basically take this fight right now. And Davey's so low on HP. Eight, in fact, he's going to run all the way back over to attempt to get this bomb plant. He'll have about 30 seconds when he gets there, which pretty much narrows him down to B. And the defense are going to split up. They've got good control at mid. They've got a read on A. And they could actually cut him off by going underpass. But I think they'll play this from catwalk. It looks like Demise is going to creep up mid and potentially go there. Yeah, he's got plenty of time if he just grabs it and books towards B. He can't really clear anything, but he could get the bomb plant and, and, and just end up... I mean, this could be a winnable one-on-two situation, especially with the Imps just so low. And Mousepaz players are completely caught off guard. I don't think they realized the bomb was down in the B tunnels. Now they're not sure if it's A or B. This could waste some time. They do both have kits, and now they're wise to it. Demise is going to go for the flank. So is Imps, so they're both going to come from tunnels, so they're narrowing a choke point. So Davey has an opportunity to win this round here. And they're going to try and come back in and go for this retake as Davey makes this play work. And Imps, he kills himself. How silly was that? He lays out the fire, knows it's there, fails the jump through the window, and he has low HP. So rip for him, younger. and the bomb's already... Yeah, this this completely killed the round, because he couldn't get on it and stick it. Demise gets the kill, but Davey wins the round. That's a huge misplay. That's that's a blunder. That's unbelievable stuff. Just mouse spaz. Oh, this well, is harsh. I think the fail of the week for Rotoderp has just been selected. I mean, we're, uh, we talked about how they're going to be able to bounce back from getting 16 0 in the last map, and, and getting beat up here at 10-3, to they make a massive blunder in the 14th round. So you're seeing it all kind of unravel here for Mousepaz. Well, at least they got three rounds this game, I guess. So far, we'll see if they can improve on that. Last round of the half. Impsta, due to his own lack of success, I guess we'll call it. That's a nice he's way to put it. He's limited to the pistol. I thought I'd be friendly. Man, they had a two-on-one. They had the bomb down so far away from them. I don't know if they saw the bomb, though. That might have been the problem, because they could have secured that. But Davey, he's going to continue on this round. He'll take Polly. Yeah, it's Polly trying to make his aggressive gamble play for a massive flank, and he gets punished for it that round. And then they come, again, through this wall of smoke. Demise, though, he drops down to Jason. Our fruit makes up for it. He takes down Jason in response on the entry. Mid still having a good fight. Davey, though, does take Imsta. And now it's still a two-on-two. Two. Need to be careful, though. Davey has position to try and catch Zek off, but he knows he's there. Slides out, and the Famas can't win the battle against the AK. Fruit, though, will take out Arya. That's an AK in his hand, so this is working okay now. They've got it back to a one-on-one, -on -one, and a good flash does come out. Davey forced to duck and hide, and he still wins it with 16 HP left in the end. It's 12-3 at halftime. Affinity looking quite well composed this evening. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm not so sure if it's that or just Mousepaz, uh, you know, having a, I mean, you could call it an off night, that probably wouldn't do it enough justice, but having a very, very difficult night in every aspect, so, I mean, we have to talk about that 14th round where Davey wins that 2-1 with that blunder from Imsta, I mean, that was a, that was like a 3-on-5, they, they got open.
opening picks from Zek and Imsta with the AWPs, and they weren't able to convert it into a win. So, I mean, Affinity players are just having a field day at the moment. Everything everything they're doing is, is just working out. Mouse pads with a lot of communication errors and everything. Only three kills for a guy like Pauly in the half. Not much more for Imsta. Six. Just really didn't get anything going, but we'll see if this pistol can potentially bring them back into it. Pretty slow passive pistol. Three guys in the horseshoes. X on the corner. He wants to be the first around with Demise creeping up. They will go. They spot Arya in the window. Fox, that brings him back down the catwalk as he was just starting to fade off it and support a beat. And Arya comes out late. He finds Demise trying to slip inside the connection point, but Abe, he finds fruit. Zek only wanted to get a response kill. Finally, he gets a double. Good job from him, but unfortunately, his teammates haven't equaled the task, so Arya... We'll bring them back into a three-on-one, and it's Impsta. He's got a lot of work to do to recover himself from that particular round, the one we all remember. And he can't do it. Arya, former Area 51 player, picks up three in the round. Speaking of Game of Thrones, and that'll make it 13-3. to Yeah, Arya just coming out swinging with that 5-7, and that's just the confidence of winning the first map 16-0 and being up so huge after the first half. I mean, he's he's got the balls to make plays like that works out for him, and this isn't even going to be no plant in that round for Mouse Spaz, and they're not even going to fully invest into this round. Uh, I guess actually they did, except for Zek, who's got 1,300, so he's not really buying too much. He just bought a smoke. He wants to have an AWP going into the fourth round, and they're just going to try and make this plant work, and they have five smokes, so it's probably going to be something very similar to what Affinity did in their second round, that line of smokes between the bomb boxes. Here comes the smokes on A. First bounce down to jungle. Second bounce down connector. Am I stuck on the smoke? I'm stuck on the smoke, Jason. This is all you. Alright, well here they come into the smoke. The bomb is getting planted. If any doesn't really care about it, Davey's about to be pushing CT spawn though. He's been dinked. He goes down without too much of a response. Demise picks up the scout. And all the mouse pass players have advanced past their own smokes. So they're dealing massive damage to Affinity. This retake is looking very scary. Great position. Pauly takes one out. Abe does respond. Neither neither player for Affinity has a kit, so this is more than likely not going to happen. And Mouse Pass player is not peeking, trying to delay this retake as much as possible. Abe's going to be walking up along the wall. Jason R does get one. They're starting to clear out the players, but once again, no kit. And they do not have... Oh, he actually picked up a kit on the retake, so he finds a kit on a dead body. And they win it anyways, just barely. Close, yeah, very, very, very close. Interestingly, on the entry, they didn't put out a smoke on top of the stairwell, so there was a potential peak right. spot for Affinity to use. That's what I was trying to get at before I got stuck. I noticed stuck. that as well, actually. I did. And, yeah. that was, and it was weird, because they had five smokes, so like I don't know if, that, if someone just missed it or what, but that's a spot that should have been smoked off. Luckily, no Affinity member was playing at those stairs, or else he would have punished that. So Shout somehow, out to you for your play-by-play -play this season, because otherwise, I was stuck that round. Yeah, that, that round would have been awkward. Well, there's nothing awkward between you and me, Jason. Nothing Never. at all. There's nothing awkward between Arya's gun and fruit either. Just a one-way conversation that Arya's gonna win as he pops back out using that op. So Affinity looking pretty strong here on the play with Arya. Jason R, he'll find Pauly. Imps to down as well, and now we're on match point already for Affinity. It's an absolute massacre at the moment. They we're looking at potentially, over the course of two maps, 32-3 to three in the score lines. And Zach, he, yeah, that's saved, crazy. he saved that second round to get an AWP, but he still, I mean, he still only has a glass cannon with, with a smoke, so not really too protected. He's going to go over towards mid. He's going to meet up with Arya's up, see if that conversation between the guns can continue. Perhaps make an argument this time. Get a word in, because he was silenced quickly last time. He does spot Arya this time, and Zach wins it. Yeah, it There's makes it look like response. speed dating. Ooh. I wouldn't know, never been. Tinder's the same thing though, right? Fox, oh, he'll Pauly. find Imsta. Pauly, man, he takes down Jason as he jumps back up, so... Give a dog a bone, give Pauly the cracker, give Fox the bullets, and he's gonna drop down now as well, and... Suddenly, Nospaz have two-man advantage here. The demise, though, is only on one HP, and with Pauly out of it... You can call this a two-and-a-half men versus one. But don't include Mr. whatever that actor was that went crazy. Charlie and Sheen. there, there it is, Charlie Sheen. Thank you. And they'll win around. So. He didn't go crazy. The world just wasn't ready for his genius at that moment. Exactly. Look at the uh, marketing pitch that created. His his self brand and self Tiger I guess, blood. publicity went way up. 
But still, a long way to go for Mousepaz. And how many times, that was a round that I actually thought Affinity would come back in that. We've seen so many rounds where Mousepaz has a massive advantage and they just end up losing it in the end. And a double haul push here from Affinity. Arya and Davy, but Zet gets there first. He takes out Arya once again. He's had the upper hand these past two rounds. A pop flash coming out for Davy. Doesn't blind Zek, and he gets that one as well. So the A bomb site is open, and Affinity, this might even be a retake they don't want to touch. There's no reason for them to rush this. No reason to get hasty. They've got full control of the game. Zek gonna find Abe. Fox actually wants to come around to T's side, but Paulie's in good position, tries to take the fight, hasn't hit him on the second shot, so a bit of a chance here is that Nade's gonna do, oh no, too far. Could have done damage enough for the M4 to get the kill, but it doesn't matter when he lands the headshot. Paulie, probably a little bit disappointed in himself on that one, but either way, they've got control of the round. This bomb it will detonate, and Fox can't do anything about it, so we'll go to 15 to 5. And then Affinity will try again, although they were gonna have to save, so it might actually get to 15-6 before we see them really close this out. Yeah, they're going to be forced onto an eco here, so nicely done by Mousepaz to, uh, I mean, might be the first time in two maps they've broken the economy of affinity, to be quite honest. Mm, I'm just bringing it up. Equipment value. Uh, this will be our first save from the CT side in this half. I can't see the first half because it resets, so I can't tell you. Uh, well, the first half was 12 to 3, they, and, and Mousepaz won't piss around, yeah. so... They didn't, they didn't break any economy. Well, there you have it. Fox is going to play. The more you know. Fox is going to play passive on Catwalk with this flip side 5-7. The hot shot. We'll see if he can make a hot shot. Flash going to go in. Aria blinded out by that. Imps the... He gets up close to the window, but he's spotted. They know he's there. That smoke came in from such a trajectory that Fox knows exactly where he is, so he'll make that call to his teammate in Aria inside Connector, who may get the better of this with the 570. He almost gets overlooked as Aria peeked it and then looked away, but Imsta still gets the shot. Fox will make at least a reserve statement, comes back into him, but Zek's fruit, they're all going to make good for it. So it looks like Mousepass have control of this round. The anti-eco working out reasonably well so far. Still have to watch out for Abe, though, sitting inside Sandwich, but the bomb's actually lurking toward B down the catwalk, and Jason's rotated over already, so this is working out. Yeah, Imps defines him. This is uh, going to be 15-6. Look at Zek, 20 and 15 is up. Kind of came alive in, that, in those gun rounds that that they used to break the economy. Well done by him, but I mean, there's really not much else going their way. Nine kills on two players, six on one. On the other hand, it's been all it's been all Abe, and this is a player who played for Mythic last season, who, uh, before they became Luminosity, and, and you know, because of his studies, he had to take a step back and couldn't practice as much as they would have liked. But it was someone that, you know, talking to guys like Hades, talking to guys like Lex, they they really missed in that lineup. They really speak worlds about his ability and, and what he brings to the table and. He's showing it here in Affinity. Abe will get fruit. At least get one more gun down. Zek holds on to his op. He'll take down Abe. And there's fives on both sides. Of the, I make that. I lied. See, there's that update thing. It went to six after. Confuse me, Jason. It's all right. We're gonna get through it. It's gonna be another eco from Affinity. No, no, it's not. They're gonna force by here. Mm, I kind of expected that they might. Well, they have a lot of rounds to work with. So I mean, you can't really call it a, a wrong decision, but. I give away momentum potentially, but I mean they right. made that round close on an eco. They've had confidence all night long. It's it's unsurprising that they would go for the guns here. So we'll see if it works out. No kits though, and one of the things that Affinity's been very good at is is their retakes on Cobble and their CT side were extremely extremely impressive. Oh, the spam comes in. Polly brought down to twenty two. So just when it rains, it pours for Mousepad. It's really pouring at the moment. And even Arya pushed all the way up mid, got some inf intel, got some information. He knows they're not in mid, so full mid control goes the way of affinity, although it does look like with the lack of utility, they kind of seed it relatively easily. Now creep back up mid. So Arya is not in the window. Okay, they've heard, they have to have heard that vent break, even from as far back as Zek is, but the two players in underpass, Imsta and Pauly, they'll know that there's someone in the window room now. Well, Arya, though, he'll find Demise. That smoke goes out. Let's him cover. Watch that flame, and they'll help push him back up on top of the easel. But Affinity, 
They're gonna work with Davy on this op. He finds fruit. Zach gets back, but unfortunately, Polly's already dropping to Arya. And you said when it rains, it pours. They've still got two players left against three right now. So Affinity potentially could wrap up this match right here, right now. Look at Zach just desperately trying to find a shot in toward A. Instead, he gives up. He runs over because he's already on catwalk toward B. But Imsta's down. It's all on Zach, and he has to do the job. Jason R spotted him as well, so here comes the quick rotations, and Zek has got so many angles to watch with an AWP, Arya's gonna put Arya's him off already there. So Arya gets around, uses Needle to take the M4 shot onto Zek. That'd be awesome if he named all his guns Needle. Hiko did that for a while, Hiko, all of Hiko's guns uh, a couple seasons ago were, uh, uh, were named after Game of Thrones. It might be a Needle, but it works like a sewing machine.